Howdy and welcome to another devlog for my Paper Mario inspired turn based RPG, written in Rust with the Bevy game engine. This week I focused heavily on reorganizing the combat systems and making a strong foundation, which I think should scale as I flesh out the game. From the outside it looks pretty much the same, but I can now choose between two different attacks and when the enemy runs out of health some particles fall when we enter the wind state. Internally though, I think I've made a combat flow which should allow for many different kinds of attacks, so let's start looking at the code. First up we have the file organization. This has been a common pain point I've seen people talking about with Bevy, so I want to go into my solution for this project in some detail. Last time I had a combat.rs module that was getting to be over 500 lines, so I targeted that as something that needed to be broken up. The approach I've chosen for this project is to start with the simplest file structure and let it organically evolve following some simple rules. First, I took combat.rs and I turned it into a folder. Then, I broke out the different responsibilities of the combat plugin into a couple of smaller units and made each of these their own file. For each of these files, I created a new plugin and added all of the systems that that plugin now owns. Next, I created the mod.rs file for the combat folder and here I have the old combat plugin, but instead of adding systems, it only adds the plugins from its surrounding modules. Also, in the mod.rs file, I added all of the structures that I'm using in the entire combat folder. This includes events, states, and every component, and I register all of them in the combat plugin. My logic for this stems from the old quote, Show me your flowcharts and conceal your tables and I shall continue to be mystified. Show me your tables, and I usually won't need your flowcharts, they'll be obvious. I've taken this into the ECS world by wanting the components to be the public interface of the combat module. My goal is you should never need to go into the other files here, as those only contain systems and implementation details. But the components and events are the interface of the outside world. Also, many components are shared between files in combat, so giving any one of them ownership doesn't make sense to me, and it would be hard to track. I also stole some of the animation code from the art module and I moved it into combat. I think it makes sense for combat to own the combat animations and I don't think that breaks my separation of graphics and logic as it's still a separate plugin. This may not be the standard way to use mod files in Rust, but I think it will work well for my project and I kind of like how it's looking right now. Next up this week, I abstracted more over the combat flow. Within an attack, I still have distinct stages, but I wanted to be able to have any ordering of stages and define many different kinds of attacks. I've realized a core part of the joy of Paper Mario Combat is that every attack is a little bit different. Some have you press a button of good timing, others involve mashing, some hold a button, and some have you do multiple inputs rapidly. My attacks now consist of a vector of different stages and their timings. I hope this scales pretty well, but I'm not exactly happy with it. Something about this is screaming for traits, but I haven't come up with the right design or know what the trait would really get me, so I think I'm going to continue with the simple approach and try making more attacks with it. At the end of the day, most attacks just need custom code in order to feel good, so I think this is an inescapable problem. Finally, I added a simple win effect, which just spawns a bunch of particles. I haven't done anything fancy here, and these are just sprites cycling as they fall down the screen. Bevy seems to handle this many sprites without any big performance hit, and it's just a placeholder effect until I finish adding the full combat cycle. Now for a little aside about another Rust project that I've put some time into this week. If you've seen the hype around language models recently like ChatGPT and GPT-4, you might be burnt out of this, but there was recently a model released by Meta called Llama, which claims to be able to match GPT-3's performance on a much smaller model. So small that you're able to run it at reasonable speeds only on CPU. I've been participating in working on the Llama RS project, which is trying to bring this into Rust, and we are working on a library API which should make it easy to integrate into your own Rust projects, sparing all the licensing issues around the model itself. One of the devs has already turned this into a Discord bot. With fine tuning code out there that claims to be able to run on gamer graphics cards in only a few hours, I hope that soon we might be able to have customized, fine-tuned models running on reasonable hardware, and this project has been very exciting for me. If you're interested, I hope you check out this part of the world sometime. That's pretty much all I have for this week. Of course, I'm still experimenting with these kinds of videos, and any and all feedback is very appreciated. There's a link to my Discord in the description if you want to discuss these videos or Bevy in general. 
As always, thank you so much to my wonderful Patreons and YouTube members, and thank you for watching.